Hey guys, today's video is a get ready with me. It is my birthday, um, and so I figured I would get ready with you guys. If you guys want to see how I got my birthday look, go ahead and stay tuned. If not, see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys. <clears throat> so first we're going to start out with the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Finishing Spray. It looks like this. Um, this is a new product to me. Um, so we're just going to spray this all over the face. Not in your mouth because it tastes gross. Whew. This just help um, keeps helps keep my makeup from looking cakey. Um, I got you zoomed in a little too close. Woo! Um, okay. Whew. So we're just gonna let this dry. Then we're going to use the Ulta Professional Flawless Prime Primer. It just looks like this. This is a sample size that I got. Um, and when I first opened this, this freaked me out because it's green. Can you guys see that? It's green. So, my forehead's still a little wet, and we're just going to keep drying that. Um, we're going to squirt just a real little bit on our finger. Go like this, and spread it on the cheeks. This does get, help control redness. Um, I think it actually works really well. I'm really surprised on how much I like it. And a little bit goes a long way, so... Um, it's definitely got that silicone feel, um, but it doesn't leave it like greasy feeling. And I know just some primers leave it like greasy feeling. This definitely doesn't do that. So I just use a little bit, which goes a long way. And we're going to be using the blah, 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 uh, CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 Fabulous Foundation. Mine is in the color Creamy Natural. Pump. Love this foundation. I'm actually almost out. Do you guys see that? So I have to go get more. And we're gonna use the Royal Care, Royal Care, <laughs> Real Techniques, sorry, Real Techniques um, Miracle Sponge. And I'm gonna actually just put this on my finger and dab it all over my face, like I always do. Oop, too much on the nose, too much on the nose. Make sure you get everywhere. I'm going to use a flat side and just start stippling away. We're gonna put that down and now we're gonna go on to the nice thing about this foundation set so quick I'm gonna use the um, Maybelline fit me foundation shine cream foundation in the buff beige and I use this um, for a cream contour it gives a pretty nice color And I blend up, I don't blend down. And with this color, it doesn't give me like, I don't know if you guys can see. Can you guys see? It doesn't give me like a really intense contour. Um, but it does give me like a, a base to start with. So then when I put powder on top, it just looks good. This isn't the normal brush I use, but Whatever, we're working with it here. Can you just see? Just gives me a little bit of color, which I like. And then we're going to take my e.l.f. blush, uh, contouring blush and bronzing powder, like this. We're going to take the bronzer side. 
with the e.l.f. Um, bronzing brush and I always just dip the top part so we'll dip it like this into the powder tap 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 and go right over that cream product and blend up and then I take the brush sideways and blend it out does anyone else make funny faces when they're doing this it's hard to tell with the angle of this camera if it's I don't know if you guys can see it or not With this um, bronzer, it looks like it's in the pan, it looks like it's got glitter, but it really doesn't when you put it on. And we'll just do circular motions, blending it up, not down. Okay, and then we'll blend that out more once we, um... It's a little rough right now. We'll blend it out more once we put blush on. Um, the blush I've been using the most this week, at least, is the Fox in a Box Hard Candy. Um, looks like this. Use that same brush. Just gonna swirl it all around. Tap off the excess. Apply it right on the cheeks. Right on the cheeks. Blending, blending. Okay, I'm gonna take a ka face, ugh, kabuki face brush from Elf and just blend this all together. So far, so good. And then I always do highlight last and powder last. Okay, so we're gonna move on to eyes. I think you're about to grab an eyelid primer. I did the Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion, Primer Eye Potion, whatever. Take a real little bit of this on my finger, dab them together, rub it all over one eye, and then all over the other. with the basic eye that I'm going to do, um, the Urban Decay Naked Palette, um, everyone's seen it, I'm going to take a um, round top brush like this and put it in faint, it's hard to read upside down, make sure you tap off your access, access, access. start in the outer corner, we're going to do small circular motions, and we're gonna go right into the crease with that. I'm gonna go circular motions in the crease. It's gonna give you that very defined crease look. See it? And then you can do swipe for motions. Kind of blend it out a little bit. It's gonna give you that intense crease look. We're going to do the other eye, we should tap off the excess, start in the outer corner, circular motions into the inner corner. And I don't think I've got enough product on that one to go back in, dip it. And blend more. And then do wiper motions. One is clearly darker than the other, can you tell? Okay, so we're gonna go back in and darken up this side just a little bit more. Circular motions, and swiper, swiper. Okay, looks a little rough, so now we're gonna go in with the, we're gonna put that palette aside for just a second. Go in with the blah blah blah, Real Techniques uh, base shadow brush, this looks like this. And we're just gonna blend, no product. Clean brush, just blend. This brush is perfect for blending. It's got this like tapered point to it. 
I love it. So do circular motions in the corner. Do swiper motions on the side. Okay, moving on. We're going to take a flat shader brush like so and use um what do we want to use? Vixen? No. Venus. <laughs> this one right here. The shimmery one on the end. Not sure. And then tap off the excess, of course. And we're going to put this all over the lid, up into that crease color. Like so. Get back into the color, tap off the excess. Like so. Okay, and then we're done with that palette. We're gonna move on. We're gonna take that blending brush that we just used again and make sure that that crease color is blended into that lid color. Okay. Boom! We're done. Boom! We're done. Okay, now we're gonna go on to eyeliner for the top waterline or lash line. Um, this is the Physician Formula Eye Booster in black. Mm getting new to using this just recent purchase so we're just going to put in some small line on the top here no wing or anything just a line and then, does anyone ever have a problem doing the other eye like you get one eye perfect and then you get the other eye and you're like ah Eyeliner always looks so funny when you don't have like it actually smudged into your lash line. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick with the Rimmel Waterproof Defining Eyeliner. Just the twist up kind. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the top lash line. go ahead and do concealer real quick because this way all the rest of our product has set and we're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in uh, light so just a doe foot applicator really just focus that more on the inner corner than anywhere else oops and I do this after my blush because I like the foundation to be able to sit for a few minutes before I do um, concealer under my eyes. Plus we're going to put um, some eyeshadow under there so this is going to help that stick. There's that. I'm going to do this helps the, you know that dry. Then we're going to use the Elf um, eyeshadow pigment in where's the color? Tropical teal. Just looks like this. I don't have the sifter in it, so I can't really tip it down. But it looks like that. We're going to take the Ulta crease brush that so looks like this. We're going to dip it in the product a little bit. Tap it off, get a real little bit of that product, take the cap and smudge it like into the cap, like tap it into the cap. This way the product gets into the brush. We're going to look into the mirror, we're going to go right on that lower lash line. If 
I need more product. Dip it back in the pigment. Tap off the excess. And smush it into the brush. That's what one eye looks like. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye. We're gonna go ahead and smudge it on the other eye. This brush is really good for this. Okay. Pop of color. Boom. Pop of color. Boom. I'm going to take that um, shader brush that I used earlier. Lightly just blend it out. Just real light. You just don't want no fallout to get into your eyes or anything. We're gonna go back in with our eyeliner that we use on the top waterline. Use it on the bottom waterline. You don't want to pull down your eyes, so we're just gently gonna gently pull down. We're gonna walk. Like so. We're gonna gently pull down. you guys in real close close real quick before I put my eyeliner on so simple there we go we had a smudge simple neutral eye on top with a pop of color on the bottom really makes the blue eyes pop like so we're going to back you guys out the wrong way and then we're gonna do the mascara real quick um, I've been really liking the um, Lancome, um, what is this, the uh, mascara base, just a sample size of this to put on first and then put my mascara on top. It is just a white primer, so we're going to go ahead and do that and get pretty coated up with this. Do you guys imagine actually wearing white mascara? It's a little weird. Makes me feel like I got gray hair on my eyelashes. Okay, we're gonna let that dry real quick. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Long Lasting Pressed Powder in Silky Beige. Just looks like this. Use the um, Real Techniques powder brush and just kind of blend this all together. You should get under the eyes. And I always do the powder last because if there's any fallout from your eyeshadow, you're going to get it off. And then, well, we're still waiting for that to dry. We're going to go ahead and do the our eyebrows. Okay, put that aside. Do our eyebrows. I've been loving the Maybelline Master Shape um, eyebrow pencil in soft brown. Just looks like this. Got a pencil on one side, spoolie on the other. Um, I need to sharpen this. Use the spoolie, blend it, uh, brush it out. I say, if you guys want to see an eyebrow tutorial um, on how I do my eyebrows, then um, make sure go ahead and leave that down below, and I'll show you how I shape them and all that good stuff. So we're just gonna real lightly. Run it through real lightly. Okay. 
boom, boom, and boom. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put on mascara. We're gonna use the Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara, sample size. Um, I don't really curl my lashes because I just don't like the way it feels. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply our mascara. And this primer actually is amazing. I don't know how they sell it like full size wise, but I have a bunch of the sample ones and it's pretty amazing. Okay. Bottom lashes. Okay, um, let's put on some highlighter real quick. We're gonna use the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic. Uh, use this brush. Tops of the cheeks. Down the nose a little bit. Perfect. On to lips, we're gonna do a real simple lip, the NYX Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait. Love these. And that is it. This is my birthday look. Um, take down the hair real quick. Um, I did straighten it earlier today. So yeah, zoom you guys out a little bit. Wrong way. And yeah, that is my birthday look. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.